These earbuds are pretty decent if you're looking for something under 100 bucks. Hey guys, we have the Soundpeats Mini Pro with us today and they're one of the company's newest offerings at just around 80 US dollars, which is pretty affordable when you consider all the features that it comes with. Before we get into the review, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Let's talk design first. The case is pretty compact and it slips easily into a pocket, but unfortunately, the plastic it's made of tends to show fingerprint and oil smudges pretty easily. There's a USB-C port on the rear and an LED charging indicator on the front below the Soundpeats wood. The lid's hinge is magnetic and surprisingly smooth. Inside, you get the earbuds. The earbuds themselves aren't too spectacular. They're pretty standard, although I did notice that the left one doesn't sit quite as securely in my ear as the right side does. That being said, it's not too bad comfort-wise. I'm able to wear these for hours on end with no discomfort at all. So, when it comes to the app, it's actually a bit odd. Soundpeats has an app. I tested it out when I tried out the Soundpeats H1 earbuds and it worked just fine then, but for some reason, it doesn't support these earbuds. So yeah, no app support, no touch control customization or the likes. But there are touch controls. So you get volume controls with a single tap on either side, right to raise volume and left to lower. Double tap on either side to play pause. A triple tap on the left pulls up game mode while a triple tap on the right pulls up your phone's voice assistant. A long press and hold on the left toggles ANC, pass through or normal mode while a long press and hold on the right skips tracks forward. If you notice something missing, yes, there is no option for you to skip tracks backwards. Unfortunately, because there's no touch control customization, you're kind of stuck with this and it's a bit of a bummer because I would probably have replaced game mode with ANC and then customized a control for track skipping backwards. There's ANC on these and it's just okay. I noticed a lot of wind noise when ANC was turned on and for the record, I use these with ANC turned off most of the time. That being said, there is pretty decent passive noise isolation, so if you are using these you know, in a place with no wind, I think it'll be fine to turn ANC on. These are running on Bluetooth 5.2, which is great, and I didn't notice any stuttering or audio sync issues when watching videos either. There's support for SBC, AAC, and APTX, which is nice, and there's also that game mode that I mentioned, which supposedly drops latency down to 60 milliseconds, although I never really noticed much of a difference with it on or off. Soundpeaks claims 7 hours of battery life in the earbuds, with an extra 2 charges in the case for a total of 21 hours. It's relatively accurate, I got around 6 hours and 7 minutes with ANC on and music playing at a moderate volume, which is pretty decent. There's also IPX5 water resistance, so perfectly fine bringing these out for a run. The microphone quality is pretty okay here. There is background noise reduction included with these, but even without it, it's perfectly fine in quieter environments. When it comes to sound quality, these are in a bit of an odd area. 80 US dollars is kind of a neither here nor there area. There are some earbuds in the $50 price range that don't sound all that bad when compared to these. And there are earbuds in the 120 ish range that sound much better than these. So to me, it's kind of like a either I go lower or I go higher. $80 is kind of just, like I said, neither here nor there. Moving on to how it sounds, the bass here is quite strong, with a definite sort of emphasis on this range, but it's not overpowering to the point that it's all you notice. Vocal and mids reproduction is very good, and you get a good amount of energy and clarity in the highs. Of course, don't expect super wide soundstage or really accurate imaging and detail. This is a pair of earbuds under 100 bucks after all. The Soundpeats Mini Pro is certainly nice. I mean, it sounds relatively good and ANC is definitely a nice feature to have. But personally, I would have liked to have seen this at around the $60 price point instead. And at that price point, it would have been a much easier recommendation for me. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Soundpeats Mini Pro earbuds. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to us and like this video. Till next one, see you guys!